Hey yo, what it do, baby? It is your boy Dynamic, and today's topic is well, I'm gonna talk about the Manti Teo situation. For you guys who don't know who Manti Teo is, Manti Teo plays American football. For the British guys out there that don't know, he plays American football, American college football for the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame, whatever. He kind of has been the the subject of talk lately and all the sports stories and stuff like that because, well, let me tell you the whole backstory first before I get to the story that came out. So this guy was having a great, great season. He was having an incredible season. He's actually a, one of the big prospects to go into the NFL and one of the feel-good stories of the year because his grandmother died, and on the same day that his grandmother died, his girlfriend died and this was known this was publicly known and this added to the i guess to the to the i don't even know the word i guess to like how people were amazed by him and and how he was able to persevere and have this great season and it was inspirational you know the whole nine and it has recently came out that that girlfriend that he had, which is, I think her name was like Lenua Kakua or something, because he's from Hawaii, so they have those weird names. It came out that she doesn't even exist. And now he's kind of in this big controversy because was it a hoax? Did he make the whole thing up to get more exposure? From what I know at this point of time, the latest that has come out recently is that a hoax was actually played on him. He didn't play the hoax on everybody else. Someone, I guess this girl became became an online relationship. So basically he had an online girlfriend, but he was so he was so shy or afraid of what people might think that that he just never he never managed to tell the press or, or or even his family that that girlfriend was just an online girlfriend. He had never met her before, but he talked to her on the phone for a period of months every single day. I would imagine a big part of his day was spent talking on the phone to this person. And a lot of the older media, they don't even seem to they don't even seem to believe what he's saying. But I believe him and I believe him because of one thing, because I kind of went through a similar situation. Now, I really never talked about my past on this channel, but for this time, I'm going to make an exception because it just goes kind of with the story. OK, so when I was 14, I had just gotten my first computer. I think it was the year 2001. So, yeah, I'm old as heck. And um, I just got my first computer, and I went on AOL. Some of you younger guys don't know what that is, America Online. And back then, there was no Facebook. There was no um, Twitter. There was nothing like that. The only place you could meet new people was if you went into these chats. So I used to go into these chats on a regular basis. I started exchanging messages with this girl named Tanya. She was, um, you know, she was... She was Around 16, I was 14. She was a pretty young thing, man. She was pretty. And I, I don't know. We kind of sustained a, a telephone relationship. I was 14 years old. I could never. She was from Florida. I could never fly out to Florida at 14 years old. So I never really got to meet her. But we had this sort of relationship through the phone that later on, I started to suspect that maybe it was her sister that was acting like her because her sister was younger and uh, uglier i don't want to sound like like a like a jerk but she wasn't as pretty and i i started to think that maybe her sister was acting like her sometimes so that she could feel i don't know man i don't know but what i started to feel was like that i wasn't talking to that real person i i was getting the, the pictures from that person i talked to that person on the phone but in the end i think i was just talking to her sister I think her sister was impersonating who she was. And in this situation, in the Manti Teo situation, it wasn't necessarily the person's sister or whatever, but it was a similar situation in that he maintained an online relationship. And even I remember even with this girl, when we stopped talking at the moment, it, it, I just thought that it was her. You know, I didn't think that it was her sister or anything like that. It's now when I look back that I think it's his sister. So at the moment when I stopped talking to this girl because she just, I don't know, she just never wanted to talk to me and, sh you know, whatever. But it kind of hurt. It, it felt like a real relationship even though I had never met her. And it kind of did hurt when I didn't talk to her. And after about two weeks, it went away, two, three weeks. But I remember the first day that, uh, that she just told me she wasn't talking to me anymore. 
I was so sad and I, I could kind of relate to the situation that he says he was in, even though I'm not 100 percent sure that he's even telling the truth. But if he is, then I can kind of relate to that because he felt like she was his girlfriend and he was just scared to tell the media that he had never met her. Just like I probably would have been scared to tell my mom that I like this girl and, and I'm having feelings for her. We're only talking on the phone. I've never met her, but she lives in Florida and stuff like that. Man, now that I think about it, Tanya, she was a pretty young thing, man. She was sexy. But anyways, uh, if it was really her, I don't know. I have no idea. So, man, Titeo, if you could ever hear me, I know you will never hear this, but if you could hear me, I just want to tell you that you're not the only one that's been through that situation, man. Older people, they don't understand. Maybe some younger people don't understand, but I understand how it feels to to actually talk to someone through the internet for a long time and on the phone and feel like you have a relationship with that person. And in this situation, that person was playing a hoax on you. And, and I feel so, so bad because it actually hurts, man. It actually hurts. And just keep on going, man. I know you trusted in that person and they played tricks on you. Whoever the whoever was, man, I don't know who it is, but whoever it was, man, they did you dirty. And just keep your head up, boy. Keep doing your thing on the football field. You about to be rich, man. You making it to the NFL, dog. You about to be rich. You about to get all kinds of vagina. All kinds. Peace out, players.